Tada. Gunship is not paying for my bus. Look at them. This is typical. Shitty weather. Get the cover. 70 euros only. Wow. Finish price. <laughs> And welcome from Finland, all the girls playing, so we are here again, not the first time outside to see the team. It's not cheap guys to come to Finland uh, or whatever in Scandinavia to watch football. So let's see how many will be tonight in the stadium and um, good luck to the team. Yeah. And all those Sofia fanboys. Yeah, Dumuschev paid him to come to Finland to watch Ludogorets. No, Dumuschev didn't pay me to come to Finland, I paid it myself. Uh, as you say, we're three fans. Yeah, we may be three fans. We're coming, three of us, to watch the game. And Grisha Ganchev is not paying for my bus. But to be honest, it's quite nice here. Look. It looks way more updated if uh, compared to Stockholm. Very nice place to work, probably, and to fly from and to. It's good. It's written in at least two languages that I understand. And there is another language route at the ASMR, which I don't understand very well. I'll be talking about this later. And the weather is like... As expected. I like the tower. Beautiful, beautiful. And comes in combination with bad weather. Winds and rain. Such an amazing place. Spend your weekend. Excuse me, you know number four? How to get number four the train? Number four. Sorry. Number four train. Number four. In Finnish. Svenska, number four. Yeah? No. Oh. What do you mean about that? Finish him. Uh, yeah, I want to take it to the south. Actually, I don't know how, how it works. I don't know. Really? Yeah, no. <laughs> Check the prata du svenska. Uh, number four. Can I take number four? So that it. Number four, uh, south. It, it's so it, English. It's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, okay. <laughs> nobody knows, like you know, uh, nobody knows in, in Helsinki how uh, you get them. A few moments later. Uh, not, not right here. It's not I easy today. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, certainly not. One eternity later. Uh, I'll go and check that out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry I can't No problem. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Right. Great success. I found the fun. Right. 70 euros only per night, not per week. I haven't seen the two other Ludogorets fans. Still paid by Dumushev. It's so unfortunate that we are so few, but we're actually more than the Cups that both Sofia teams won for the last 10 years all together. So I'm still happy about that. Okay, okay, okay. Look, look at this architecture. It's just lovely. And up there, the Ukrainian flag. Support for Ukraine. Slava Ukraini. The way out of the conflict is to Russia to leave Ukraine. That's the way out of the conflict. Thank you. <laughs> and at least they should have the trams going through. I can still somehow understand that you can you can 
block it for cars if you want to protest against pollution. But yeah, but yeah, if yeah. you protest against pollution and stop public transportation, I don't think that's very smart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe they can stop the cars only. Now my nine-year-old daughter is waiting alone. Right. Well, I don't like it. There's a yeah. demonstration ongoing and my daughter is alone. And she doesn't know what to do. And my son is late for basketball practice and... And, right. and, and that's and what I call maximum damage. I'm irritated. Yeah. Right, this guy was a Helsinki fan. She said if you hurt 2 1 to Helsinki. I haven't met a lot of Finnish people in my life, definitely. On a boat, actually. We have a very interesting story. Being on a boat company of like uh, six, seven Bulgarians. We are on this boat to Helsinki, Stockholm, and there are some uh, Finnish people having fun drinking around. We're drinking as well, having a big table. And the door was a bit open of our hut. And it's a Finnish guy coming in, a bit drunk. And he was, of course, welcomed. He tried a uh, Bulgarian Sprit, vodka, which is called Rakia, quite strong. And we start presenting ourselves, uh, everybody calling his name and stuff. And we have a friend that's called Nasko. This is uh, short for Atanas, Bulgarian name Atanas. And when he heard this name, his eyes become like this big. He said, Satana. <laughs> We were laughing and Nasco was satana for quite some time. Hi Nasco, if you're watching this, <laughs> I couldn't help not talking about this. So the rest of the Finnish people I met, they are quite um, introvert, uh, nice people of course, but they're actually not very easy talking to um, because we are quite different mentalities. And if I can, and if I will, uh, position Bulgarians and Finnish people on a scale, they'll be probably with the longest difference from all the nations in Europe. Mentality and way of uh, communicating and things like that. But I have a lot of respect for the Finnish people, because a lot of Finnish people who are fighting about our freedom so died for it. Nice. So, so that's also built in 1952. I'm happy that you managed with the child, first of all. Yes. Yeah. Hi. 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 The game in Razgrad. You said 2-1 here. The game in Razgrad. Uh, one more guess. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Nice seeing you. And here are some Bulgarians on there. I think these are the other two. The other two paid by Dumuschev. So we all three of us were here to watch this game. Here it is. I'm usually buying one of these. We'll see what's inside. Hey. Well, it's not like the parents are French shop, but uh, it's a smaller cup, so you understand that. Mm, I like these calves, they're nice. I will get one of them. Well, this logo is not appropriate for us. This is a uh, conference league. Maybe they played in the conference last year, but we don't play there, so we use other logos with many stars. How much is this one? It's 25 euros. Wow. Finish price. <laughs> yeah. I like the shirt. It's like the Swedish uh, IFK Gothenburg. The same design, same colors. 
Sorry? Media entrance. Media. Yes. Can I get in? I am a media. You have to be accredited. And I have a badge. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> Are you seeing difficult finish? They just think jokes are useless. Why should joke at all? Okay, Lansky, Pianski, Pesni. Pele? Ha ha! Nee, Oh my god, look. Now I kind of like the atmosphere, it's a nice little stadium, um, very cozy, look there, look at the second, third floor, they have some lounges and stuff, hardcore fans in the middle, and here there are ordinary fans, some families with children and stuff. <laughs> it didn't take 10 minutes guys. Ludo Gorec, ole! Ludo Gorec, ole! Piotrowski the beast, the Polish beast. I like this guy, he's very strong. Very good presence in the middle. Are you Toncho? No, 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 no. Makaš je, da. Kire! Wow! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> I think that the teens are shocked by the beginning. I don't know what they expected, but um, this will not be all that we'll see tonight. So they will push definitely, definitely. Now some stuff, especially for the Sofia fans. It's not a sausage. Krendich, ne. Not a sausage. Look here. Look. Look, 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 look. Siomga. It's a salmon. This is what the Ludogorets fans eat. They eat salmon, you know, during the game. We don't need sausages, but even sausages is better than what you have on your stadiums, you know? Fucking miserable pricks, I know you can't afford them! Fucking cheap fucks. <laughs> Petrovsky the surgeon. Petrovsky the surgeon. That's the right name. Petrovsky Chirurga. And the Finns are not happy with that. Wow, guys, we have Finnish people that started showing emotions here. Let's see what's happening. Look at them. This is typical. This is so dirty trick to water this uh, artificial turf. Artificial. This is not a real grass, guys. Oh. <laughs> Finally scored. They are unbelievably happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. They were sweating a lot for this goal. Perporim. Okay. Arikiro! It ended up 1-1, quite fair, to be honest. And um, uh, we actually had uh, less situations in total. They had more clean chances and they didn't score because they missed 
we didn't score because the uh, goalkeeper had a great night. It was a fun being here. One more point for us, and that's good. We have to win in Bulgaria, definitely. We have a lot of class, but just uh, we never really put our class to work. So that's why we are not winning today. And I think that we can win easily. I don't underestimate these guys. They have respect, great team. So I'm expecting a victory in Bulgaria, nothing else.